That's the real conundrum. And as we look at the two catalysts this week, clearly the view that the Fed is probably a bit more dovish than they were a month ago and, and certainly more than they were back in December is true. But there's not enough evidence for them to be making a move in June or July. And the real conundrum is if we make more progress on the trade deal, they'll even be even more or less likely to see a need to cut rates. Bryce, is the bond market responding or anticipating what's happening with our economy or what's going on overseas, the slowdown in China and now with Mario Draghi talking about maybe further stimulus, the slowdown in Europe as well? Right, definitely the uh, the comments out of Draghi uh, tr brought rates down here because you know it's it's relative, looking at our rates to their rates. But you know, I, can't, I just scratch my head and I think, what what are they really going to do? They're talking about maybe reducing ten basis points. They don't have a lot of room to go. They don't really have anything that can be a game changer for them over there. Whereas. You know, thankfully here the Fed has some more room to move. We still don't think they will tomorrow. They don't want to be seen as being weaponized in this trade war with China or, or with anyone for that matter. That, uh, you know, anytime there's announcement of a new tariff that, that markets start to expect a cut. Right. And realistically, what can they really do about the supply chain issue anyway? Dropping rates a quarter, a half percent is it certainly isn't going to solve that problem. One wouldn't think.